guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute, I'm going to call it a witch's cauldron wine tumbler because that's kind of what I was going for. Um, it has a Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company decal on it, the drips, and I also made the drips look kind of chunky rather than smooth. So you see how it looks kind of chunky. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this and look at the sparkle on that black glitter it is absolutely stunning if you're needing a black glitter um i see a lot of people asking where can i get a good black glitter because once i put epoxy over mine it looks like tar like all of the sparkle goes away this is it look how sparkly and pretty and i'm obsessed with it so to start i have a 12 ounce wine tumbler this is from maker flow crafts i'll make sure to put the link down in the description and I base painted it with a black primer from Rust-Oleum. It's good and dry, so it's ready to move on. And for the glitter, drum roll. This is Carbon from the Glitter Grind. It is so sparkly, so pretty. The camera does not pick up how gorgeous and sparkly it is, but you'll just have to buy it and see for yourself. So I'll have a link down in the description for that. Other than that, I've got my Mod Podge and my makeup brush. So with all of that being said, let's get started. So today's gonna be a pretty simple, basic day for this tumbler. All we are doing is covering this bad boy in Mod Podge and applying this glitter. So I am just making sure that it is all completely covered before moving on, especially up by the rim and all that good stuff. Okay. I think we're good so now applying this carbon glitter all over the tumbler so stinking pretty it has like a little bit of silver in it so just cover that whole thing don't forget the bottom here and tap off your excess now I'm gonna wait about five minutes for that Mod Podge to dry before I take it outside and seal it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear. So now this has been sealed. I'm going to pop it back here on my turner from Bama Cups. Um, maybe a couple coats. We'll see. And then I'll come back and show you the next step. All right. So it's the next day. There's one coat of epoxy over this. It's a little tiny bit rough. So I'm going to take my sanding block here that I got from Amazon and just kind of go over it really quickly before we move on to the next step, which is gonna be the drips and the decal. So this is gonna sound crazy and maybe just a little goofy, but when I made this like chunky kind of drip instead of like the really nice smooth one, um, I know a lot of people have been taking like some kind of beads maybe from the, just the dollar store maybe and gluing them on to the tumbler and then dripping over it. Well, I, don't have beads like that and I don't want to go get beads like that so I thought and it worked it worked I'm gonna add more but I thought maybe I can take my hot glue gun and glue just like put like little globs of glue everywhere and let that harden let it dry and then drip over it and it did end up working it's really kind of hard to pick up on camera and I hate that about like art like you can't see everything on camera but it's definitely lumpy so it did work but i'm going to be adding more this time than i did last time okay so my hot glue gun is good and warm now all i'm doing and it's going to get a little bit stringy but you know you can clean up the little strings of glue for one i want to find i want to find the smoothest point so i know that's where i'm putting my decal and that feels like right here so i don't want the drips to go down too far where the decal is so I'm gonna put a bunch just up higher and I'm making some bigger than the other like I said it's gonna be super stringy because that's hot glue for you but yeah all I'm doing see is just putting little globs as similar you know to like little round beads as I can Just want to make it look lumpy. I didn't put very many when I did my first one, 
but after I got all of the um, drips done on there, I realized I definitely should put more. All right, so I've got some globs of hot glue going all the way around it. This spot I left open for the decal. So now I'm just gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna mix up my drips, which if you guys have seen me do my drips before, you know that I use cornstarch and Mod Podge over the traditional epoxy way to do it. Um, I just, this is easier for me and a lot less messy even though it is definitely still messy because cornstarch gets everywhere. And I don't have a whole lot of cornstarch left, so this is probably going to take every bit of what I got left. Now this one I used purple mica powders for the drips. I was really conflicting on whether to do purple or green. So since I did purple on this one, I'm going to use green for this one. So this is Invigorate. It's called Invigorate, a green mica powder from the Glitter Grind. And I am just going to put a little bit of that into this mixture here. And until, you know, after you get the drips on and the Mod Podge dries clear, this green is going to look a little brighter or lighter colored and a little more faded. Um, it'll be much more vibrant after the Mod Podge dries onto the tumbler. So now all of these little lumps and bumps are good and dry. I'm gonna start applying my drips. And I'm gonna do just a little bit at a time because I do not have enough cornstarch to make this as thick as I really wanted it to be. So I'm just going to apply a little bit at a time. So now it looks like this. So it's all lumpy and bumpy and it worked out to me. Um, so I have this little space right here where I'm able to put this decal. I think they look really cool. I don't know if I like the purple or the green better. But this green will also start to be more vibrant once that Mod Podge dries. And you'll see that the color gets a lot brighter. So um, I'm just going to wait for a little while, work on some other stuff, and let this Mod Podge dry really good. And then come back and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so now for the decal. I printed, printed it out, sealed it, sprayed it white, sealed it again. I just posted a video on why I do that. If you have white water slide paper, you don't have to spray it white. Um, but essentially, I turned a clear water slide into a white water slide. I'll link the video up here somewhere. Um, so if you are curious, if you haven't seen it, you can go watch that. It's a more like in-depth video. So, so you can see it. This is the water slide decal. It says Sanders and Sisters Brewing Company. Um, Salem, Massachusetts, Quality Brew, established 1693. I got it on Etsy, and I'll make sure to put the link down in the description. But all that's left to do is to apply that decal. So I'm going to put it right here where there is a blank spot. And also, when it comes to this Mod Podge, after applying it, make sure you wait several hours, even overnight if you can, um, to epoxy it. Because even if the Mod Podge is dry, it's still going to be squishy. And if you try to put epoxy over it, it's just going to smear everywhere, and that would suck. So... Try to wait overnight or at least, you know, several hours, like four hours or something before applying your epoxy. And there we go. So now I have a purple one and a green one and I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it. I love how really also whenever you do drip cups like this, no two cups are going to come out the same just because, you know, it's really hard to control the drips. But I think I like the green one better. 
So for me, it has been several hours since I applied that um, Mod Podge drip. So I'm gonna go ahead once the water side decal dries in like 30 minutes or so, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups and I'll come back tomorrow and show you the finished result. Okay guys, so after a coat of epoxy, this is what we're working with now. I freaking love all of the texture on this. I'm really glad that I made a second one. Really, I'm glad that I made the first one and then realized from that what I needed to do for the second one. So I really hope you guys like it. I am obsessed with it. This is one, well, both of them I'll be taking to my vendor event here in my gosh, 10 days. Oh my gosh, I've got so much work to do. So before I go, I have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And that was said by Maya Angelou. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know which one do you like better? Do you like the green or the purple better? Comment, let me know what you think. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And if you have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.